If you've been following Chinese cinema for some time now, you probably remember how the 2015 blockbuster Wolf Warriors grossed a mind-blowing $85 million in China. Two years later, there came a sequel that surpassed that figure tenfold, bringing the box office to almost $880 million. The signal was loud and clear. Moviegoers were hungry for new blockbusters, in which brave Chinese soldiers, mercenaries or peacemakers restore justice in some backward country and kick some white ass. Eager to please the viewers, the industry served up a dozen similar films. But, as it turned out, Chinese audiences were selective in their movie choices. The new releases flopped one after another, among them China Peacekeeping Forces, Chinese Salesman, and Sky Hunter. The only film to do well was Operation Red Sea, but only thanks to the maestro Dante Lam at its helm. Wolfpack hasn't reversed the trend, scraping a meager $4 million at the box office. The film centers around Kutong, a skilled doctor and, quite paradoxically, an expert in everything that has to do with injuring people. Determined to hunt down his father's killer, Kutong is traveling the world, treating people along the way. When a random woman asks him to go and help the kids that got in trouble, Kutong agrees without second thoughts. The woman turns out to be with a private military company headed by a tough guy named Lao Diao. They need Katong to operate on the brain of one of their soldiers in field conditions. After the operation, Katong gets invited to join the squad as a gunner. After Lao Diao hints that he knows who killed Katong's father, Katong agrees to become a mercenary. If you find the plot a little ridiculous, don't worry, because it really is. Wolfpack is not the smartest of films. What's even sadder is that the director and writer Michael Chang rewrote the script a staggering 12 times. The idea to make a movie about a Chinese private military company belongs to the producer Liu Jianmin, who previously worked on the two Wolf Warriors films. Chang picked up the idea, and it took him three years to bring it to life. Apparently, at some point, he stopped looking at his own work from a critical perspective, because when it comes to logics and realism, the wolves in his pack are limping on all four legs. Some of you might argue, why pick on the plot of an action movie? Well, you're right, but the thing is, the lamer the script, the more you expect from the action. And the action in Wolfpack is mediocre, at best. It's a far cry from Wolf Warriors 2, let alone Operation Red Sea. Wolfpack is just a slight improvement over online projects within its genre. It lacks a dash of ingenuity, originality, craziness, if you will. Michael Chang's many years in TV are showing big time. It's like he's afraid to take risks and push the envelope. The cast is packed with action stars like Arif Lee, John Zhang, and Jean Lucia, but the three of them have had better roles in better films. The director's attempts to add volume to the characters by making them deal with questionable moral dilemmas is not working very well either. For example, Kutong and Lao Diao have an argument because the former lets go an apparently random boy. As a result, the boy, armed with a machine gun, is following the characters for the rest of the film. Besides, he's so annoying that you're itching to finish off the little shit yourself. But if you think about it, feeling annoyed is at least something, because Wolfpack is so disappointingly unremarkable that it evokes no emotions whatsoever.